Hey guys, um, please excuse the terrible lighting and the little bit of noise you're going to be hearing. Joe and I were just driving back from the store. It is late at night. You hear that, um, <laughs> you know it's coming. We are driving and I see sitting on the median between a busy highway right in front of the like sewer drain this tiny 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 probably like two, three four week old kitten just sitting there alone and i obviously freaked freaked out so I turned around as quick as i could put my hazards on jumped out of the car and picked it up I'm praying there's no fleas getting on me, but um, everything is literally closed, like humane societies and everything. We took to the vet, they don't accept strays. So we're gonna keep it for the night. I can't convince Joe on keeping it because we have so many animals already. And I feel like it's probably gonna go to the bathroom. Its belly's making crazy noises. I'm scared it's gonna poop on me. Um, we're gonna get it home, I'm gonna wash it, and we're gonna feed it. And I'll keep you updated. Joe is not pleased. No, I don't condone this. But we can't, we couldn't just leave it. It was literally alone and it's so tiny. And look at it. You so already sweet. have a zoo. I don't need another animal. <laughs> For the night we do. Right. I think I want to name it Phoenix. Oh, you're not naming it anything. <laughs> so, this little one is so loud. I'm so hungry. I'm gonna give it a little like milk formula thing I have from Calypso when we found her. Update. Loves pets. Poor little baby though, his belly is making so many noises. A happy customer. Now you're gonna get a bath. So. I'm red because I'm flustered. We're freshly washed. I didn't see any fleas, but I might not be seeing them. And our animals are all freaking out a bit. Just trying to dry them. Oh, and there's Calypso. Oh, Tim, have you talked? But once again, this belly keeps making all these noises and I'm just worried about it. It's kind of like flashbacks to when we found Calypso. Also, who's like about this tiny size. I understand. <laughs> Joe has decided to give him a little affection because I have promised that it's just for the night. Yeah, we're gonna take him to a shelter tomorrow. There's a really good no-kill shelter in Boca. Make sure he gets to some proper care and he'll have a family one day. He's imprinted on him. That's not a good thing, guys. <laughs> okay, so I was finally able to leave the bathroom. When I left the, when I was trying to leave the bathroom, the kitten kept running at the door and literally jumping on the door to stop me from opening it and then yelling at me. That's this guy chewing on his bone. But it was making me feel really sad and then I walked out and he started screaming, but we looked it up and Apparently you just gotta give the kitten some time to just relax. And we did that, and now the kitten's just quiet in the bathroom. We set up a little bed with towels for it, which we did this before with Calypso when we found her. She was also a stray. She was about the same size as that cat. But I also did immediately give this kitten a flea bath. So like I had flea shampoo and gave it a little bath. It did really great. Didn't complain at all. It loved the warm water and all the animals are kind of freaking out right now because they smell it. Karma wants to mother this little baby, as you can hear. And, uh, I guess I'll let you guys know when I check back in on it and how that's going. No, the cat's really cute. I just, we can't, <laughs> we can't have a zoo. Like we already have four animals, so five would be pretty um, ridiculous. Very, very cute cat, so I'm sure it won't take long for it to get snatched up. But uh, we'll take care of it. It's a very noble thing for Kira to do. This dog's nuts.
Just can you stop for like five seconds? Buddy, are you gonna stop grinding on it? I'm gonna take this for a minute. I have to take it for a minute. Just let me speak and then I'll give it back. Sorry, bud. But by bringing it to a shelter, I know that they'll be able to give it all the shots it needs. If it has any kind of medical issues or medical needs, they'll be able to take care of it. This is why you need to donate to animal shelters because the funding for donations go to help animals that need care when they get brought in. So it's always a good thing to do to help out the animals. So I know that they'll be able to fix it. They'll be able to give it all the shots it needs and then they'll be able to find it a home. And we would be the home. But as Joe said, we already have four animals, so we need to give it to someone who can. Hello. Wow. So would you like to share the news, a little update? So, Kira has worn me down, and we're gonna keep this little thing. And we found out it's a girl, but um, we named her Little Voodoo. Yay! Welcome to the family, little voodoo. She's a cutie. I mean, look at this face. How do you say no? And, yeah, what are you oh, gonna do? did you have something to say? Okay. What? What? Hi. Hi. some biscuits to make. Is the biscuit shop closed? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's closed. For reference, I'm a size, what, eight and a half? Yeah. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Good job. Are you crazy? What the heck's your problem? Okay, so... Quick update on Tiny here. She just had her first vet visit. She is three weeks old, making her birthday March 15th, which if you know what March 15th is, it only makes sense for her to have been born on March 15th. I'm sorry if it's very echoey. Obviously I'm in the bathroom because she needs to continue to be quarantined because she's too young to get any vaccinations and she has hookworms, something like that, in her little baby belly. She's so sweet. She loves to climb and she purrs every time Joe and I or either of us are hanging out with her. She doesn't have any fleas, um, which I mean is so exciting and I feel like almost unheard of when you find a little kitten from the from outside. All we do now is we have to keep her separated and in this bathroom until we can get her fully vaccinated and then we can start introducing her. So in about, I think two weeks is her next checkup. They give me medicine for her worms and we'll be going from there so you will be getting more updates about this little voodoo so hope you're ready for lots of animal content she's kind of tired now from the journey oh a silent meow and then it's gonna be really interesting introducing her to all the other animals i know the dogs are so excited to meet her i'm interested to see how the cats are gonna react so i'm gonna feed her let her take a little nap this little good one but anyway that is it for this vlog i hope you enjoyed our little journey a very very big surprise and a new addition to our family please like and subscribe and leave a comment we always want to hear from you guys and we'll see you on the next video bye